Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today I will be reacting by myself for some sad and very unfortunate news that we found and we are sharing this with you for a few reasons to get the word out there um, about women's rights, about women empowerment, and that some justice needs to come to the ones that did this. So uh, we're hoping that sharing this will um, spread the word and bring some justice down so things like this never happen again. You know, this is such an unfortunate thing that had to happen to this young woman who, you know, was on the right track in her life and these guys just took it away. In one instant, gone. You know, they have no right to anything and hopefully hopefully the government gets involved you know my husband this is from Telangana this is from this hits home for all of us you know close to his hometown close to his home state like this is hitting home and it should hit home for everybody no matter where it is this is a young woman whose life was taken away by a bunch of boys who thought it was okay to do what they did to her and now she's gone this is the last phone call her sister has with her you know so many things you know i'm listening to it it sounds like my husband's sister talking on the phone but her sister was really worried and upset you can hear it in the the voice her voice on the phone and i don't even know her but i could hear it in her voice that she was upset and her other sister, you know, she sounded like she was either sleeping or maybe watching TV or something, but this should not have happened. You know, the government in Telangana has to get on this. They have to make these accountable. You know, they've caught a few of the guys that did this and they need to find out the rest of them and they need to make them accountable. This is not okay in anybody's book. This is not okay ever. And they need to be made an example of and the government needs to get on this. KCR needs to get on this. KTR needs to get on this. Like these are the people that can come out and say, this is never going to happen in my state ever again. And because, you know, they are getting the highest penalty that the courts can give to them. The death penalty should be top of the list right here. Uh, this is unacceptable for anyone to even think that they could get away with this or think that they could do this. And <clears throat> she, beautiful young girl, is gone. Her life is gone. And these jerks are out there eating food when she is dead this is not okay the government of telangana needs to come and make them a prime example of this crap cannot happen again this crack it down on it you know my husband we love telangana it's his hometown this is where he's from and you know he keeps up on the news and this he was like this i feel sad that I am part of this state right now and he's like KCR and KTR are doing a great job but this is one of those things that the government needs to get behind and say this crap cannot happen in our hometown girls should not be able to walk around being afraid for their goddamn life that something is going to happen to them because they can't be alone at night no I would like to say nobody should have to carry a gun or a knife or pepper spray. Unfortunately, this is the world we live in and you need to be able to defend yourself, call the police, find some place. But if you have to be out at night, and I would say for anybody, honestly, in this day and age, but women especially should be carrying pepper spray, pocket knife, something in your body possession you should be aware she was freaking scared and i could hear it in her voice she should have stayed inside that shop she told the guy i need to call the police or i need to call my father i need to call my uncle some big guy needed to come and save her unfortunately she needed strong 
somebody with a weapon, I think, to come get her. And this crap cannot happen. This is almost 2020. Guys, we love India and we are proud of India. But today is a sad, sad moment. And I know these things happen everywhere in the world. They happen here in the U.S. But you need to crack down on them. You need to make it better for the women so that this crap does not happen. And girls, unfortunately, you need to watch your back. So you should be taking some karate like Anjali and carrying something on your possession and having plan B ready to go. If you run out of gas, you know, well, try not to run out of gas would be my first question. But make sure you are prepared. You have pepper spray. You have your cell phone. It's charged. You have a knife in your pocket in your possession or a pen. I hear that works too. And then throat. Um, you need to be able to fight and kick some butt or call the police. When you are thinking somebody is not doing something that's right, you have that bad feeling. She had that bad feeling. She needed to pick up that phone and call the police and say, I need an escort home. There are four, five, six guys, I don't know, that are trying to take advantage of me, trying to help me, but I, this is not right. I do not feel right about this. And that's why she called her sister. But unfortunately, her sister could not help her. And she went out by herself and now she's gone. So I hope that somebody in power comes out and uses their power to make sure these goons get the highest death penalty or whatever it is in, in that state. They need to be an example. They need to be an example so this stuff doesn't happen again. That your sister or your mom or when you have children, your daughter should not be afraid to walk the streets alone at night. You know, Gandhi said freedom is when a woman can walk alone on the street at night. That would be wonderful. I wish and pray every day that I should not be afraid to walk up alone in the street. Anjali, I should not be afraid the day that Anjali has to walk by herself. Even now, you know, we didn't show her the video, but we told her this happened. This stuff happens. We try to keep her aware. And I'm always telling her, you know, make sure you, you go somewhere with your school. If you don't leave the group, make sure you stay with your group. Stay with a friend. If you have to go to the bathroom, you take people with you. Make sure your phone is on your body and pepper spray in your bag. Like, these are the things you have to be aware of. Because when you, she sounded so innocent and so sweet. And now she's gone. And these idiots are eating rice and curry somewhere you know and she can't take another breath so for all you good guys out there you need to stand behind your women you need to stand behind them you need to stand up against this crap you know if you see something you call the police for them you let them stay in your shop so that they feel safe you know, you call their father for them if you have to. You need to help in these situations. If you see this, you should be the first ones. If you don't want to get, you know, yourself involved in a bunch of guys, then call the police. These guys look like they're harassing this girl. I think you should come check it out. Let them do it. But be the one to make the phone call. Don't let these girls go out, you know, Treat them like your sister, your daughter, your mother. Like, treat them like you want to be treated. You know, when you're grown up and you have children of your own, you're going to know, like, I don't want somebody to do this to my kid. Girl, boy, it doesn't matter. You don't want to find out your child has been killed and put in a bag and burned to death. Nobody wants to get that phone call, ever. Nobody wants to hear that something happened to their child. Nobody wants to hear this. So make sure you stand behind your women. Give them pocket knife. Give them pepper spray. Give them some defense mechanisms. Tell them who to call. They run out of gas. Plan B needs to be up, you know, you picking them up 
And where should they be? Where should they wait? What is a safe place? I know there is no perfect answer for every situation, but you need to be prepared. And you guys, you good guys out there, you need to back these women up. And you need to make sure this crap doesn't happen. And talk to the government. Talk to, you know, KCR and KTR and have them hear your voice. These, this crap should not happen. These guys need to get the highest penalty possible. We love India and we want to make sure that good things happen. You know, Chandrian launch and, you know, the satellite. And now, you know, there's so many good things coming out of India. And then this happens. And I know crap happens all the time, everywhere. I wish it didn't, you know, um, I would love to say peace and I, I mean I pray every day for peace to be the answer and I wish it was that everybody was lovely and everybody treated everybody like they want to be treated uh, but I know it's not a perfect world and and so I have to be real about it but we need to do something to make sure this stuff doesn't keep happening you know we don't want we love to do reactions on this channel talking about the great things about India, the temples, the food, the people, and then we hear this, and this is just horrendous. So make sure you talk to the governor, the chief minister, sorry, the chief minister, we have governors here, and the minister and write them letters, call them, be at their front steps, protest. I mean, I think these guys should get very little time. If they admitted to it, they've caught them, they have them on tape, they have evidence, done. It's a done deal for me. Don't waste taxpayers' dollars. Don't waste a lot of time. Make them an example for the next one. So hopefully somebody else might think twice before they do this again because this crap needs to stop. Let us know if there's other things like this that you would like us to react to that need some spreading the word and getting the news out there and hopefully some women empowerment and some justice will be done. And I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.